critical illness is associated with a hypercatabolic state that depends on the severity of the injury. Uh, during this uh, catabolic state, there will be a muscle breakdown uh, aimed to deliver amino acids from the muscles to the synthesis of glucose in the liver through the gluconeogenesis, also to synthesize uh, inflammatory proteins and to repair the injured tissues. As a consequence, uh, there will be a decrease, a profound decrease in the muscle mass that may be as high as one kilo per day uh, during the first 10 days of hospitalization in the unit. And this uh, will translate in a loss of limb body mass between 15 to 30 percent in these patients that, of course, uh, will be associated with uh, uh, worse uh, clinical outcomes. So protein serves many roles for the critically ill patient. We know that within 24 hours of a critical illness or injury, the body will have a fourfold increase in protein losses and protein breakdown. And this is essential to provide nutrients, glucose, and other key nutrients for the body. It's part of our fight or flight response, our, our response to stress, the stress response. And it's also vital to our immune response. Amino acids are vital to the ability of immune cells to respond to stress and to infection. And so our body of evolutionarily, as we've evolved as humans, is built to break down muscle, to generate amino acids, to provide for the ability of the body to survive. And so it's essential that once the body really depletes its reserve in the first 24 to 48 hours, that we provide the significant amounts of protein it will take to sustain the stress response that we as humans are not built to sustain, and then allow for recovery the rebuilding of muscle mass, the maintenance of immune function, and the recovery of, of our patients to get back to the lives that they've come to us to do. ESPEN guidelines uh, says that uh, we have to, um, to go to a, a target of 1.3 grams per kilo per day in, in these patients uh, in a progressive way, uh, starting at the entrance of the unit, I'm going to, uh, up to this uh, target of 1.3 after day 4 of hospitalization.